Hey guys, what's up? It's Fulf here, one and only, and today we're going to be doing another video on the Alchemist Code. As you guys can see, my mouth is moving, but they're not in sync. Mostly just because my OBS changed my mic settings, so I was recording off of a different mic, which was most likely my face cam mic. So I'm going to be voiceovering this, so yeah, that's unfortunate. So currently I'm talking about I just bought a few of the five star tickets that were inside of the five million download shop and we're going to open first things first we're going to do the summons and everything i bought one of those just to see what i would get out of it because i am in need of the little robe that most of the characters take but if you guys are curious about the voice that was going on with my mic it was actually that terrible and this is what it sounded like that's fine. I don't have to worry about that, Sam. Give me all the blues you want. Hey, though, I'm going to be pretty sad because I'm pretty sure these are just going to be hits. But yeah, that's exactly what it sounded like. I didn't want to put you guys through that, even though I put you guys through it for like, a, I guess, a few minutes. But you guys will be fine. So I was talking about it was probably going to be duplicates of uh, five stars. Uh... Sadly, you guys don't get my general like reaction to it, just thanks to the settings of OBS, which is quite unfortunate. But I think it's all right. We're good. We're good. But moving on over to our five star summon. So we started downloading. I was like, oh, it seems like we're going to get some new characters since it started downloading. To be honest, anytime your game starts downloading, it's a pretty good chance that you are getting a character that you don't have and the game is just going to download the information for that character. I didn't really understand why it gave me a yellow if it was just going to transform into a red, you know. <laughs> that one really didn't make any sense, but this is a character that I really didn't have. And people said he was actually pretty good. Even though he didn't have Holy Brawler, he had a uh, martial artist which is unfortunate, and a duplicate on Balt, which I'm fine with. We just got him to Thief, pretty much. So that helps out. Next one is Flamel. I was talking about I didn't have this character last video, but <laughs> he just popped up out of nowhere. Now I have a reason to actually do the whole Job Plus event for him. And then we get Eve. Which I was also talking about in the equipment section that I really didn't need the letter equipment just because I never used bride or anything or groom. But then we got her. And then we got more shards for her. I don't really use her and I don't have her job plus. Because the event that was going on, uh, I really couldn't like finish it at the time. But her event will come back around and we'll do it again. Then here I'm checking out Raymay who is pretty much AKA Don. That's literally what Rayme stands for apparently. So I'm just gonna call him Don. So Don is actually pretty decent. I could team him up with um, Yami, uh, Holy Brawler Yami, and they could actually, you know, cause some serious damage. But I don't think I wanna work on him right now because it he's kinda past his time. Around the time he was released, he was like, really really good and I'm pretty sure he was released before the Holy Brawlers I think but then again he would probably be released afterwards and he was still pretty decent around there but most of these events are getting like way more complicated and way more strategic a little bit so yeah he can still be pretty decent though so I would recommend still building him and then I take a look at Flamel which I'm going to have to get to pretty much 75 which I won't be doing by choice to be honest I'm not gonna keep summing for him I'll just let it casually happen as long as I get his job plus tokens then that's all I really need and we'll just let it casually happen like I said next I was looking at Eve and I never really looked at Eve before and she has a pretty interesting jobs I didn't know she had Crymancer and uh, Holy Brawler if anything I was trying to find a good setup for her maybe cryomancer as their second job and holy brawler as the first i mean i know uh 
Shayna, she also has it too. So, yeah, many people try that out. So, I was thinking that could actually be pretty decent. So, just to have another Holy Brawler under the belt. But I'm also saving up all my fire shards for the, the Skya event whenever that comes by. And hopefully I, I get the character from it. And by the way, yes, I know I say Cryomancer instead of Chronomancer. But Cryomancer just sounds way cooler and easier to say to me. So, yeah, my channel, my rules, you know, I can say whatever I want. You guys don't have a choice. You're going to have to listen to it. So skipping ahead and cutting out a lot of footage just because I don't want you guys to sit through here and just having me talk for like a whole hour, which was pretty much how long this video was literally an hour and 10 minutes. But unfortunately, I have to cut it down and cut out a few parts just because of OBS. Thanks, OBS. I can always count on you. So I changed the um, caster. The first run didn't go so well just because uh, I was still trying to test out the stages and everything. So I don't know if I want to cut out every single thing and just go to the run that pretty much gave me success. Or I'm going to pretty much show you guys the strategies that I had went through so actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut out the less important parts of me like failing and everything I wish I would I could have kept that in but I don't want to talk over all that and just run out of things to say what I'm gonna actually show you guys and get to the points is that I've been testing out so magic users are really good in here apparently as you can see magic damage works so if you guys have a good um mage or sage bring one of them in because you're definitely going to need it and i'm also going to show you guys another strategy that i learned and also before i even do that keep in mind that these guys can't be status effect you can't put any status effect on these guys at all but the archers do have hidden trap which does keep you from using certain abilities so i had to restart and try again so yeah now that we're done with that i'm gonna show you guys something interesting that i had read into when using my yami all right before i get into yami and show you guys something really interesting that actually works well in this dungeon um this is his <laughs> agility it's actually pretty high if you do have gigamish try and outspeed this guy then you can get your uh, you're pretty much three kills right at the bat. And as you guys can see, I'm trying to rush down this guy and see what happens if I do take him out before he starts getting all his buffs done. Uh, as you can see, Gilgamesh is useless once the buff starts. But if you have a Gilgamesh that can outspeed this captain that keeps bringing out all these buffs, you can actually take out quite a few of these guys off the start, which is really nice. So I'm going to skip to me rushing down the captain now. Oh yeah, if you, those of you guys who are wondering why I brought Lufia, it's mostly just because she has a nullifying wave or magic cancel, which is really nice. So you can do Fizz ignore the captain, get him down a lot faster, but it's not the strategy I went with at the end of this uh, you guys will pretty much see that whole match and I'll just pretty much describe to you guys what's going on there to be honest I wasn't trying to go for a no death run I was just trying to go for a completion which was pretty annoying and difficult to pull it off but yeah the no death run is actually pretty simple just let your characters die and hopefully there's one enemy left and he won't one shot anything <laughs> that's all you can hope for so this guy was getting ready to heal this guy, so I had to hope and make sure that killed. And it did. I was trying to stop him at first, but then I thought about it. I had nothing to stop him with. I couldn't even defense Norm because he was facing the wrong way. So that was unfortunate. So I take him out and pretty much everything else is pretty much average. But I lost this run due to the fact that Lafia died thanks to this guy who comes over here and uses an AoE, which I never expected him to have. So if anything, you want to finish off this water unit, this water knight, finish him off 
or he will be the cause of the death of your team, which you guys will see right about now. Yep, that's exactly what he has, and it can really destroy a team. So be careful. Try to take out the Water Knight as fast as you guys can. If anything, just focus your way through. Don't try and focus down the captain. Yeah, and the mage in the back is very annoying as well. So yeah, let's skip on to the parts where I actually finish the dungeon. All right, so here's the interesting thing that I had discovered. Blood Temple. Blood Temple drains, and it doesn't count towards defense. So pretty much any life steal attack does not count towards defense. So life drain is really good for this dungeon, and it's really nice. As you guys can see, the look on my face of being surprised that it actually works. So yeah, I went with sort of a different team, which I'll show you guys this event it was actually pretty straightforward afterwards even Gilgamesh had one too and I used his just to see how much he would take yeah, he takes quite a bit Gilgamesh is actually pretty decent to still take in now that I know that life still works in here so yeah life still characters perfect to have if you have a Rider Yomi try to bring in two Rider Yomis hopefully you will have a friend who has another one so here's a full run of me defeating this place not the prettiest one, but I got through. <laughs> All right, so here's the full team that I went in with. So I took in two Rider Yomis. I took in a friend who had her. And I took in Zangetsu just because he has the whole lifesteal thing by just, you know, as a counterattack. I kept in Almira and I took in Karas just to attack the uh, Water Knight that I want to get rid of first. So I took one of the Yomis and put them right in front of this guy just because they can't come out or best I should say they aren't interested in coming out when there's a unit in front of them. As long as you have a unit in front of the knight, they won't be interested in coming out at all, which is just fine. That's perfect. That's exactly where I want them. So I'm just going to sit here. I'm just looking at different skills to seeing what actually could work here. Um, since he is my counter damage, I can't really use a skill. And yeah, they have guard that just takes down so much damage. <laughs> I was a little bit salty. I was just like, you know what? We're not going to talk about the fact that I said I can do like a 400 damage and it just changes to like 94 damage or something like that. I think it was 59 damage actually. But yeah, we started using our defense in Norris, and I hate it that it just keeps auto-targeting them. Then it's so difficult to change to a different enemy we actually want to attack. I'm surprised they haven't fixed that, but yeah. Then I have this archer over here poking and annoying me. And then this other archer is going to do the same thing. But thankfully, Yomi is actually pretty tankish when it comes to archers, so she's actually pretty decent to bring in against these guys so yeah we brought his HP down to enough where I want to keep it and I started to spread out my units so he can hit less people when it comes to that then I was thinking to myself how am I gonna get the three player run I thought I could get it here but the freaking archer was up too high I was just sitting here like, man, that would have been so perfect, but no, just that one guy has to be out of range so high. But, yeah. But then I was thinking about it. I basically have six blood temples. Then I'm trying to figure out some type of way I get hit both of them. I was thinking to myself, it kind of felt wasteful, though. But I was thinking to myself, if I move, the archer's not going to move. Well, none of the archers are going to move because they'll still be attacking the Yomi over there. And even if I move her to the other side, it they're still not going to follow by much because that one guy up there is still just going to be up there out of range. So I was just like, screw it. Let's use it. And now I come over here and get ready to nullify wave this guy.
And now that that's going through, I move the Yomi over here now. Just because, yeah, we don't need these guys getting out. So we're going to sit here. So this is uh, my mercenary that came in with me. And she was dodging like hell. Like, like this person must have had some really good evasion gears on. Now this guy is still buffing over there. It's just fine. Um, next, I feel like I want to take out the archers and everything. But then I saw an opportunity over here. But I just realized I didn't have any jewels, unfortunately. But then my stupid self, forgetting that... The archer has a uh, hidden trap. But luckily, get away with it and get some jewels. I should have attacked the spear, the spearman instead. But I still had to worry about the priest that was back there, because the priest can do some serious damage on you. You got to be careful with that. Here's me still trying to figure out some stuff. So I drain here, just so I can get ready for my three kills with one attack I was really hoping that it would but sadly the the mage is pretty tanky he won't get one shot it like the archers but I was worried about this priest that was charging this attack I don't know if she was targeting me or targeting this guy and it seems like she was really trying to heal, so I just went for the blood drain and just like, screw it. So, yeah, that went through. Now, the next turn that that Yomi gets, she we can easily just get our three kills with one shot. And he moved closer just to make it easier for me. That was, that was actually pretty lucky. I'm actually happy about that. And now I'm probably trying to figure out if I can move my Yomi anywhere and finish these guys off all together. But I just get my turn, which I should have attacked and just got some jewels off of. But yeah, I think we're good. Like I said, those evasions came in clutch. So next thing I do is start to heal my Lufia. And there it was. He was trying to heal. Thank God that he moved. That would have sucked. <laughs> and I was sad because... <laughs> I was so sad because, man, I had the perfect opportunity to finish this off. Came in clutch and dodged, but it's fine. I was just here for the completion. Not really the no death run. As long as I did it without any continues. Now then, the turn came by and I could finally finish these guys off and get my three kills with one strike. Finally got that out of the way. Ah, thank God. And around here I said, oh my God, that was way more trouble than I ever wanted. And now I can take these guys out pretty easily. And I can pretty much just use all my blood temples and I would still have a... Um, my defense in is front and back, so it was pretty much all good from there. Now I had to finish this guy off and finish the captain off that was sitting up there just healing. Oh, I forgot about the priest. Never mind, he's still around. But yeah, the priest was charging something, which I didn't really like, so I had to get rid of him. I don't know what he was charging up for, a heal or damage, but I felt like he wasn't close enough to heal, so he was trying to kill somebody. So what I did now was just try and get behind him, but, but with how the view is set up, it was really annoying to try and click behind him. But yeah, with that, we have one guy left, and he's just sitting up there chilling, who's been annoying through this whole match, since the start of it, actually, the whole time 
defense crap. And it is physical defense. He doesn't up any of the physical defense. I'm pretty sure all of them are pretty much uh, an up to magic attack instead of magic defense. Maybe there was one of them in there. To be honest, I thought that a, that a void up was going to be pretty annoying, but doesn't seem like he is like it went up very much. So now I just kept everybody there and let the Yomi's take care of it. There wasn't much he can actually do at this point, so we just started bullying him. Just for vengeance. Ah, feel nice for revenge, you know. But now, yeah, we're still waiting out turns. And we still had another blood temple. But I just wanted to use the combo, which I should have shouldn't have done because I keep forgetting that these guys had guard. That was really annoying. Guard just pretty much takes down that damage you think you're going to get into just a puddle of shame. To be honest, I didn't think this was going to kill the, the Yomi, but apparently it did. Which is unfortunate. But yeah, that is my run during the extra dungeon. Um, like I said, the no death run is pretty simple. You just pretty much finish off half of the map with whatever units you have then at the end of it keep one of the units that is capable of killing you but you're actually a fool of killing it when you resummon everybody so basically use a continue to get the no death just make sure that nothing dies once you continue so now I wanted to do this one which I haven't done before so this one is how you get Cryomancer plus Rahu. So pretty much with this stage, you have to just survive six rounds without your leader dying. I put my leader as my Yomi because she can dodge and plus she can also pretty much life steal and just stay alive a lot longer. The funny part is I forgot that Severetta's weapon actually uh, causes daze. So daze is pretty much keeping enemies from attacking or using any skills, but they can still move around. But I'm pretty sure they can still use skills that take off the effect and still can pretty much use other skills that can just cause like status boosts. And there's my four blows thanks to Gilgamesh. Then here I started talking about how I missed the opportunity to get Gilgamesh and you know the game didn't want me to have him. Every night I cry into a corner thinking about what I could do with him. <sighs> Each time I have to use him as a you know mercenary it hurts me inside just because I know I don't have one. <laughs> but yeah which is unfortunate. But this was actually pretty easy. I was going to get the no death run, but then I just said, screw it and made a YOLO choice. I even said to myself, I'm pretty sure this is a bad choice, but you guys will see what I did wrong. And it's funny because the match ended right at the point that that character died, which kind of had to be upset but I was still laughing at the fact that, that that's what went down. So I rechecked some of the missions just to make sure what I can and can't use. So I can't use any items, which is unfortunate. Now, if I was to do this again, I can use items. I am kind of upset that OBS did mess up like it did and chose the wrong mic for recording. And it sounded like that. Because I would have loved to upload an hour video for you guys, which you guys, well, most of you guys tell me that you enjoy from me. But unfortunately, that's not supposed to happen today. But next next week, maybe. We'll see. We'll see. I can say Gilgamesh is really, really good inside of this event. 
So if you guys have a Gilgamesh uh, mercenary friend, then I would definitely recommend taking him into this. I don't know where he was going. I was just like, where are you going, bro? You can't run away from me. Can't even do anything else. Now, this is the group that really caused some havoc. Like, yeah. My Lucian was, ooh, my Lucian was low after this. I was just telling myself, I got to get Lucian out of this. Then they were attacking Lufia. Which, I don't know why I brought her in here. I think it was just for the hills. So, if anything... Bringing, um... Wind units into this is probably not the best choice. Is what I quickly learned. But Yami's just fine. You guys can bring her. Because as long as you have your agility and um, evasion up, then you should be good. And plus, she has a blood drain. So, you guys can also still live off that. And plus, she's actually pretty, like I said, tankish, which is just fine. I try and heal <laughs> Lucian, but here's around the part where I was just like, YOLO. I told him to leave it, but he, you know, he tagged Shayna for no reason, man. I was thinking to myself, would I rather take out another wolf or would I rather take out an archer? I thought to myself, I'd rather have less archers on the field just because they're going to keep attacking Lafia. And sadly, this thing did not die. Like, Mandrakes just don't want to die, man. Personally, I think Mandrakes are the most annoying enemy in this game. Just because so many of them have status effect. So many of them can literally turn a tide of battle. The one I hate the most is probably the charm and death status one. The funny thing is, I forgot charm status actually existed. And I haven't used that in like a long, long time. I should probably give it to my um my Shami and see what she can use it for. Since she does have a um, thief, she'll automatically have it as a base. I was over here trying to figure out what I could take the main drake out with and how far I could avoid damage. Since Lee Toss is like pretty much nearly <laughs> half of the map, I just did that instead. And here comes my dumb choice. I even said in the video, I know this is going to be risky, but I'm still going to try it. And I was like, yep, there it is. And dead. <laughs> I expected him to tank it, but yeah, apparently not. Yeah, and I want to get rid of the Mandrake. I hate the Mandrakes, bro. You, you guys will learn. <laughs> but yeah, note to self, don't bring wins. Just because the fire units are just very annoying. And boom. That's pretty much it. Or you guys could just kill one side and status effect all the other ones and just let them live through the whole rounds and just stay in the corner or something. <laughs> well, if you have strong units that will kill anything that comes near. I just went on the offensive, which probably wasn't the smartest choice. But yeah, now I'm going to go get my reward. I got the Cryomancer tokens and the Flammo tokens. The only sad part is I don't have Rahu 275. I only had her to 74. But then I was like, screw it. I guess I'll just use my wind shards I had got. Even though I was going to put those inside uh, Yami, but with how good people say Cryomancer Plus is for Rahu, I was just like, yeah, I might as well go for it. Sadly, the whole double shard thing or double loot is gone now. I was kind of sad about that. I thought it was going to go through the whole pretty much fi 5 million celebration. 
But we now have Cryomancer Plus. So I was thinking we pretty much go with um, Cryomancer and Holy as its secondary, right? Since I'm pretty sure there is a buff to Overclock, I believe. Is that why people go with uh, Cryomancer Plus Rahu? Because they say she's the best healer in the game. I'm just trying to figure out what setup I want to go with. Uh, you guys let me know down in the comments. I was sitting here trying to figure out the differences between the Cryomancer and the Cryomancer Plus of her. And now the second thing I'm going to start working on is Lumia. Uh, trying to get her Dragon Cavalier Plus, which I feel like is going to be really good. But first things first, I got to get her to 70. 75 but only have her just at least 72 so that's gonna be a long ride which should be quite fun getting to shouldn't take forever still sitting here trying to figure out which one I want so I'm just gonna say all I'm gonna do for today hope you guys enjoyed and hope it helped you guys out with a few like you know strategies for this dungeon or other like events we've done in this video Hopefully that helped you guys out. I will see you guys on the next one. Which will be probably next Thursday. <laughs> but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Swear it's gonna get better real soon. Don't let anyone tell you what you should do. I got a clear view. We're gonna make it soon. Just keep pushing through. Yo, what you got to lose? Yo, what you got to lose? Yo, what you got to lose? Just keep pushing through. Cause what you got to lose?